In 2019, Joker's shocked audience becoming an instant phenomenon. Fast forward five years and the highly anticipated sequel, Joker following a do, I definitely had to use a couple websites to learn how to say that, hit theaters. But to everyone's surprise, it flopped. So what happened? There's a few key reasons why fully a do, <laughs> sorry, struggled to find success. First, timing was a major factor. Audience had to wait five years, and in that time, the massive buzz surrounding the first Joker had faded. Plus, moviegoers have become pickier about superhero films, especially after a series of underwhelming releases from both DC and Marvel. But timing wasn't the only issue. The audience response was brutal. The film received a D on cinema score, which is nearly unheard of of a major comic book movie. Black Adam didn't even get this. This low rating shows that many viewers not only disliked it, they were actively warning others to skip it. The main complaint, the musical elements, which took fans by surprise. Many people expected a psychological thriller like the original and didn't connect with the musical side. The casting of Lady Gaga as Heidi Quinn was big news and some fans were excited, but the movie's tone and musical direction left audience feeling confused. It seemed like the studio tried to make it a dark musical romance, which was a gamble that didn't pay off for many. Finally, Fuller for do had a massive budget of 190 million. For a film to make profit at that level, it needs strong ticket sales, which only added to the pressure, making the box office flop even more painful for the studio. So in the end, Joker, Fury Adu, I'm trying guys, I'm trying. Timing, audience expectations, and the risky musical edition all played a role. Will this change the course of comic book movies? Only time will tell. If you enjoy this breakdown, like and subscribe for more deep dives into your favorite films.